Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Storyteller. Now being an engineer I'm more a man of numbers than of words but this is a puzzle game about telling stories. So we're going to start on chapter one and the first part of that is called First Love. Oh it's probably about where I met Paddy. So essentially we've got to build a story that fits the description at the top. So lonely person finds love. Now they I think they must know I'm an engineer therefore there aren't words there's stickers we can put in. So we have Albert down here he is the lonely man he can go <laughs> oh, he's so lonely. That's literally my life before I got Paddy. Um, and then we can drag him over to here. And look, this looks like he's in the church. He's curious. He's not sure what's going to happen. Um, and lucky for him, we, we found him a nice partner. Look, they're happy. Anyway, so then we go on to the next level. Broken hearts. The story continues. It, it doesn't look good for this guy. So we've got to do a story of heartbreak. Now, these are background images. So if we start with at the wedding day, we've got Albert, we've got Juliet. Uh, how do we make heartbreak? Well, we, we put a gravestone in and oh who do we want to survive <laughs> i feel like albert you're you're back being a lonely man again because juliet you're on the gravestone oh <laughs> oh he misses her so the next story a heartbreak is healed so at the bottom we've got the the wedding we got the grave we've then got a new bloke called edgar also eleonora and ligia ligia Legia? Legia? Anyway, to show us a heartbreak, I assume we need to start in the church. We're going to have Mr. Edgar. He married Ligia. Ligia. Look, they're very happy. However, Edgar did not lead a healthy life. He was he was an architect. Obviously, very, very short lifespan. So, Ligia is heartbroken. Absolutely heartbroken. Uh, however, she, she found love. Because, look, she may be heartbroken now, but when she looks in Eleonora's eyes... Oh, yes. So, yeah, architects, they, they have that effect on women, just in case you're thinking of becoming an architect. Anyway, on to drama. Everyone heartbreak. Oh, no, I've got to destroy everyone's heart. This is awesome. So, down the bottom, we've got the same three people. We've also got a revive thing this time. So, let's do propose. I think we're going to have the same story as last time. Actually, can I, can I make Edgar cheat? Can I make him... Oh, no, he won't. Look, he won't cheat. He's a good lad. Maybe he's not an architect after all. But anyway, I've broken her heart, I guess. But I've put the gravestone in and then the eyes of these three <laughs> were like, please, please don't pick me. Please don't pick me. Um, let's shove Edgar in. I want to know, the woman that loved him, if she dies, how does he feel? <laughs> Whoa, bro. He literally does not give a crap. <laughs> he's like, I have eyes for one woman and that is Lygia only. I, do I don't even know how to pronounce her name, but who are you, blonde woman? Anyway, let's get her out there. That's too harsh on her. <laughs> All right, there we go. He is heartbroken now. I'm I'm sort of wondering, actually. Now will he marry her? So let's get back into the proposal. You dirty scumbag. <laughs> A little bit of death and then she's soon forgotten, isn't she, Edgar? Dirty Edgar the architect. Anyway, let's use this revive one to revive Lygia. She rose from the grave. Look, there she is in the graveyard. Why is she in the graveyard? Because she was too late. <laughs> He's already dead. So nice, we completed that puzzle with fewer frames than we're meant to. So I guess that's a good thing. Man, this is cool. I bet there's like loads of different ways to do each story. And I like talking absolute bollocks. So this is going to suit me. Chapter two, very strong castle. Oh no, actually it's just called gothic tragedies. Oh, what a, what a coincidence that is. Anyway, poison drinks poison out of heartbreak. Okay, so we're starting with a proposal. I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to do Eleanor and Lygia. They are, they're getting it on. Uh, meanwhile, Lygia goes home. Eleanor's there. She, she still remembers Edgar from the previous story. So Edgar's going to try and get involved, but no, she doesn't want you anymore, Edgar. What are you going to do about it? Well, he's, he's going to drink poison in your face, Edgar. <laughs> Hey, Edgar, such an architect. So that is that one completed. We're now on to Tragic Lovers. The double self-poisoning. Can I... I'm just wondering, can I make people drink poison if they're... No, so they have to be sad to drink poison. That makes sense. Now, since we've only got two characters in this, we can't make people marry and then make someone try and cheat on them. So we're going to have to do the old-fashioned way. You guys get married. One of you die. Edgar kills himself because he realizes he spent his whole life doing architecture instead of engineering. But then he's revived. But he's still heartbroken, so he... He, he kills himself again. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So the next chapter is called Murder. Moida. That's an Americanism, right? Moida. Baron murders Edgar. Baron Von Games has a big old ginger beard. I did not know that. Anyway, these two look very worried about this. Baron is like, he's just, he's just in a rage. So I'm guessing Edgar marries 
Eleonora. And then Baron's trying to get it on with Eleonora, but Edgar's gonna be like, no way, mate. So they have a word. This is all off screen, by the way. Edgar has a word with Baron, and Baron's like, mate, have you seen my freaking biceps, dude? Boosh. Okay, so that doesn't complete the puzzle, us. <laughs> I was thinking a bit outside the box. We do we do have to remember this is a puzzle game. We can't just make up stories that no one can see, Matt. We've got to actually show it on this. All right, so this time, Edgar and Eleonora, they, they get married. However, then Eleanor's heartbroken because Edgar has died. How did he die? We don't know. But all we do know, it didn't take her long to get over him because now she's in love with Baron. Game says no. <laughs> okay, how about I do this? I start with a death. So Edgar's dead. Then in the graveyard, we've got Edgar looking down on Eleonora, and that means she's dead. So now she's a ghost, but then Baron's also dead. I've killed everyone. Okay, let's think about this logically. Eleanor and Baron, they're getting it on. They're married. Edgar tries to get it on with her. And then yes, Baron kills Edgar because he's trying to get on his girl level completed. Oh, that was actually quite a tricky one. That. Right, we're finally on the final chapter of the most strongest chapter. So let's do the deadly drink. So we got to make Baron murder Edgar. So I think it's another story of heartbreak so baron he's a good lad he's just a ginger bloke with a big beard big biceps he loves eleonora anyway they get married and then he buggers off to the gym so she's just in church on her own like well that, that was fun I, I wonder what we're doing now i thought we we're going to be going on a honeymoon but nope so what about the biceps with uh with baron so then comes along edgar and he's like you're right love i'm did you know i'm an architect i i make Pretty good wage. Want to get it on? She's like, no, I, I love Baron. Uh, have you seen his biceps? Look at yours. They're, they're not even, they're just straight. Anyway, Baron finds out about this and he's like, well, I, I am a bit of a gym bro and I've already done arm day. So it's going to be at least like three, four days before I can like pound the hell out of this guy. So I'm just going to head into the cellar and I'm going to put some poison in this bottle. Meanwhile, in the study, Edgar's like, well, that was a horrible day of being an architect. Um, didn't annoy nearly enough engineers. I'm going to sit down and have a drink. And then boosh, he's dead. Yeah, we completed it. Four frames, nice. Which means we're on to chapter three, monsters. So in this one, Adam and Eve die. I've got to get them to die, interesting. So I guess we start with the garden. We've got Adam. <laughs> I'm glad he's got a leaf there, covering his modesty. Uh, we've got Eve. Oh my goodness, her boobs are out. Censor that, editor. Uh, then we're going to tempt one of them with an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it on a snake's head? Uh, I think I think Eve is going to be tempted by that. Oh dear. And not only that, then Adam is also tempted. Oh, but <laughs> Eve gave him the... Well, this is getting a bit weird. So now they're both bad people. They have eaten apples, which means they're going to be judged. Boosh, you're dead, Adam. Now, I'll tell you what, actually, before, before I actually finish this, what if I put the garden in now and I put, I put Eve back in? Then what if I put Adam in? He... <laughs> He's just a pile of dust. <laughs> She does not look happy about that. Uh, can I tempt her again? There's... No, the tree's dead. They were greedy. They picked all the fruit. That ain't growing back. Uh, can I double judge Adam? No, I can't. I can't double judge him. <laughs> Why is judgment like a compass as well? That's, that's a little bit strange. Anyway, we can judge Eve. You're dead. you brown bread. I think what happened here, Eve did wrong because she found out Adam got turned into a pile of dust, which she should love anyway if she was a true loving wife. Yeah, but no, she she imagined him in his magnificent physique eating an apple and was just like, I, I can't love that. That's just a pile of dust. Anyway, on to the next one. So in this one, we have a load of new characters. We've got Dracula, we've got Mina, and we've got Jonathan. That looks like Jonathan Wasp. Wibble wobble. So the story is being cured from vampirism. So it's night time. Dracula is there and he is going to bite Jonathan. Right. So in the crypt, if we put Jonathan in there, you can see he's now he's now in the in the coffin. He's sleeping. If we put Dracula in, that's the same thing. We'll get rid of Dracula and put Mina in. So that has confirmed Jonathan Ross is now a vampire. Uh, so then we have Professor, what is that? Oh, it's literally a professor. Interesting. So if we put Mina in there, he's like, you must kill <laughs> you must kill Jonathan Ross and Dracula with a stake. Uh, so if she sneaks into the crypt at nighttime, she can see Jonathan Ross and she can, oh, stake him in the heart. Does that count as being cured? <laughs> I mean, I feel like his facial expression says otherwise, but um, who am I to judge? We'll do the same to Dracula. And then she goes back to the professor. They have literally nothing to talk about now. All right, perhaps the stake was a bit too much of a cure. What if instead we put Dracula in here? Hmm, he's got garlic. He's got garlic. He doesn't like it. Actually, I'll tell you what, if we tell her to 
steak. But this time, just steak Dracula. And then the professor, Jonathan, can go see him. Yes, he's cured. Because Dracula's like the lead vampire, dude. And you can't cure vampirism without killing Dracula. At least that's word on the street. Right, next story. The crown suitor. So this time, we got Baron and the Queen, as well as some other stuff. So it's called The Queen Marries. I'm going to assume, will she not marry Baron? No. <laughs> <laughs> you are not my type. I'm not into gingers with big biceps. Okay, sorry, Baron Von Games. All right, I'll tell you what then. What can we do? We can go into the Queen's dungeon where perhaps the Baron can <laughs> imprison the Queen. And then, oh man, look. <laughs> and the Queen's just in prison forever. End of story. <laughs> Can we release her now, Baron? Do you want to do you want to let her out of there? Or... No, apparently he doesn't want to let her out. Right, fair enough. We won't imprison the queen, but I tell you what we will do. We're going to we're going to put Baron in an alligator suit, or is that a dragon suit? I don't know, some kind of suit. And then the queen just chilling out in a underground dungeon. Don't know what she does in there. Probably nothing too rude or anything. Look, there's a dragon and he's imprisoned her. And then we make Baron take the suit off, go to the dungeon to free the queen, and then suddenly they are getting it on we have a new king. Oh, hail King Baron. Right, next one. Wait, what's going on here? What is this? I got a jester hat. Do I put it on there? I put a jester hat on there. Was I meant to? Oh, now we've got different story. Oh, cool. So we're back in chapter one. We're doing the healing heart one, but this time it's a bonus challenge. We've got two heartbreaks to deal with. Now the question is what role do we give Edgar in all this? Is it better that he dies or is it better that he's heartbroken? I reckon he's married to Eleonora, but then Lygia, she's trying to get it on with her, who for some reason loves Edgar. Uh, Edgar's a lucky guy. Like, if I was Eleanor, I'd definitely be picking Lygia over Edgar. Like, no chance he's getting picked. Um, however, his luck doesn't last forever because his beautiful wife died. Sorry, mate. So nice. Now we've got the little the jester stamp. Decent. So, drama. What's, what's this one? So this is afterlife love. So this was the story we had before where those guys got married. Then Eleanor tried to get on with Edgar, but then Edgar was heartbroken because his wife died and then she got revived, but it was too late. Edgar was already dead. And but what I'm thinking, if we replace those two, we can basically say that Edgar then dies from heartbreak, uh, meaning Eleanor is like doubly heartbroken. Like the love of her life rejected her and then he died from heartbreak for another woman. However, then back in the church, look, Edgar is reincarnated as a ghost. Well, not reincarnated. I guess just he's just a ghost. Uh, what does Eleanor think in all that? She's heartbroken again. <laughs> he's like, oh my goodness, I don't love you anymore. Uh, but then Edgar and Lygia, they're reunited as ghost buddies. Nice. I feel like ghost buddies sounds like a like dog spin-off of Ghostbusters. Like little puppies or something. Go around like ghost busting puppies. And there's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghost buddies. Woof. Anyway, back to chapter two, the strongest chapter. We've got tragic lovers to deal with. Um, oh, look, we've done it straight away. So we've just loaded our old story back up. Uh, this was the double self-poisoning, but we made it the same person, uh, which was actually the bonus task. So decent. We've done that straight away. Love it. Man, I wonder how many of these I've actually done like that. Right, so we're starting off on a clean slate. We've got Baron Steel's spouse for this one. So basically, it's got to start with Edgar and Eleanor getting it on. They're married. And then Baron's trying to get it on with... Edgar's girl, but she's like, no, I love Edgar. He's like, he's got blue hair. I quite quite like that. So in the cellar, Baron puts some poison in there. Edgar drinks it and dies. Oh, wait, actually, can I move these about? I can move these about. Right, can I get Eleanor drunk first? Right, that's it. So she's wasted now, so she's not gonna <laughs> she's not gonna realize what's going on. When Baron gets back in the church with her, oh yes, it's like a real life Las Vegas drunken marriage. Right, so we've done all the chapter two bonus levels. We've now got, oh, we've got three on chapter three. Brilliant. I'm loving this. He's so much. Oh, yeah. So this was our Adam and Eve story. So let's let's delete all of that. So this is called indigestion. Oh, I, I think I've got an idea for this one. So I guess we start off with Adam and Eve. There you go. They're in love. Oops, I just realized I didn't delete the eye. Look, the eye's just staring at me. Like, why didn't you delete me? You're an absolute... I'm judging you. I'm judging you. It is called judgment after all. Anyway, then Adam is tempted by an apple and a snake gave it to him. And then it turns out he's a bit of a feeder. He didn't actually eat that apple. He just saved it up to give it to Eve. And again. And again. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> she does not look good. And again, keep eating. I did tell you he was a feeder. Anyway, can we now judge her? We can't. Okay, we killed her. Nice. Put her out of her misery. Anyway, now an alternate version of the Dracula story. So Professor Horrified at 
dead vampire. Okay, so we got the same story as before. I'm wondering, can I just, in the professor, can I just put Dracula in there? No, I can't. He, he quite likes dead Dracula. What about then? Okay, so same thing as before, but this time when she's hanging out in the crypt, she's a bit freaked out. She's got a stake on her, and then when Jonathan appears, boosh, straight in the heart, and then the professor sees the dead Jonathan. He's like, no, he was my favorite TV host. I have a lisp too, and now I've got no one to relate to on TV. Anyway, now we're on a crown suitor. So this time we've got to make a dragon king. Right, so this one starts with the queen is down in a dungeon. Baron comes along. He's like, you're trapped, sucker. However, then he sneaks out. He puts disguise on. Queen is still in the dungeon. She can't see this. So the dragon comes back to the dungeon, frees the queen, and she's like, you're beautiful. You've got two sets of eyes, and they are absolutely both perfect. So the queen offers her hand in marriage, and we have a dragon king. However, if he then derobes, what does the queen think of her husband, who's actually the king now? He's trapped her again. Nice. I mean, even I could just do that. Like, never trust a dragon. You're an idiot. <laughs> Right, well, anyway, that's all of those done. And then that is the end of the demo. Oh, man, this is such a good puzzle game. I can't wait for the full game. Uh, if you enjoyed too, please boost the like button. Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll say peace, love, and I guess bridges. I never say bridges anymore. Peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.